Someone who leaves something for the sake of Allah, Allah will give them far better. Ibrahim Islam left his town, left his friends, left his community. Allah gave him Makkah. Allah gave him Hajra and Sarah. Allah gave him Ismail, Ishaq, Yaqub, and every prophet after him from his lineage. This is condition. In Surah Maryam, وَأَعْتَزِلُكُمْ comes first. وَوَهَبْنَا لَهُمْ مِنْ رَحْمَتِنَا وَجَعَلَنَا لَهُمْ مِنْ سَالِ عَلِيَّ comes second. First, he had to leave them. And then Allah made his legacy shine. Today, we want to follow deen without leaving anything. I'm still going to watch all my Netflix shows. Forgive me if I become a little bit aggressive. I'm still going to play all my video games. I'm still going to make sure I do all these things. And at the same time, I'll do this. This is not a, this is, this is impossible. We have to leave things for the sake of Allah. Businessmen will have to leave money on the table for the sake of Allah. They will have to leave it. We will have to leave halal interests. There's nothing wrong with it. Halal, this is giants, you can do it. But you will have to leave it because there is a greater purpose in life. And to achieve that greater purpose, you will have to leave this inferior thing, which is permissible. You maybe have to, you go on vacation six times a year, you might have to go four times so you can pay for a family in Palestine or in Syria for the upbringing. 